Hey everybody and welcome back to Grounds Family Farm. The girls and I have a pretty big job ahead of us. As y'all know, I think we talked about this a while back, we bought this metal frame um, similar to our peacock pen off some people locally and it had some of the chicken wire that came with it but it's the cheaper stuff so we are going to try something a little bit different. Let me show you what we're going to do. We want this to be a little more of a permanent pen so what our goal is is we're going to put this 2x4 welded wire on it and we're probably going to use zip ties just to get on it at first because it's just the three of us so to make it easier to hold it up and i'm probably going to go back through and like weave it through or tie it to the metal with like electric fence wire that way it'll be more permanent we don't have to worry about the sun breaking things down and hopefully this pin will last a long time so far the peacock pin has been doing pretty good but i'm just waiting for the day for those zip ties to become brittle and then once that happens, we're going to have to retie them all or replace them or something like that. I also wanted to do this because chicken wire is hard to deal with. This is a little bit easier. We may have to do it in sections. I'm going to try to do one complete wrap around it, but I don't know if that's going to work. Um, if it doesn't, then I'll cut each section, each straight section, and we'll just tie each one individually. Um, we're going to go ahead and go with chicken wire across the top because across the top it'll be easy enough to do. And then... That'll give it a good support around the base for predators and stuff. We're not going to have any baby chicks in here, so it's not a big deal to have little bitty holes where they can't get through. These will be bigger chickens that are going to go in here. And we'll put a tarp on it like the peacocks and get everything set up. And then hopefully it'll be where they have a bigger area to be and we'll be safe from all the predators. So we're going to get started and let's see how this goes. Huh? Yeah. Um, it, they probably will. I'm not sure the best way to do this since we're yeah. just three of us, but <laughs> let me try bringing it over here and unrolling it. Somebody come stand on the end of that. Hi. Yeah, can you stand on the end of that? Uh, Put it, yeah, or you can hold it, that's fine too. I'm holding it. Yep. Huh? No, because I'm going to take it down here and then I'll stand it up and see how that works. Let's hope this works because if it doesn't, that would be really, really bad. Yeah. So now let's flip it up. It's a little taller than I thought. Yep. And that would be like that. And I'm just going to keep trying to unroll I, this. I, I really Good idea. Do what? I really hope this works because it's a good idea. Yep, I hope it is. Yeah, let's so, hope sometimes good ideas are not good ideas. Yeah. Do what? Sometimes, sometimes good, good ideas, ideas are not good ideas. That is true. We proved that the other day, yeah. didn't we? Yeah. When we thought it was a good idea to burn some weeds. You thought it was you thought the meter box was, was metal. Y'all thought it was a good idea, not me. Yeah. Okay, hold this right here. Because we're just going to have to work. The, we're just going to see if that's going to work. I don't know. Oh, I've already cut my hand up. Oh, no. That this is not flat might make this a little bit harder. I don't know. I'll help. Help what? Roll the wire. Well, I don't want you to get cut up. The peacocks are so excited. They think it's their new pen. It's not even big enough. This one's smaller. Yeah. So why would you want to move in here, y'all? Probably because it has more grass. But well, for now. But but the but the but we haven't been able to move them because of the because we don't have that much grass. Yeah. Because it's just so dry because we need rain. Mm -hmm. That's right. It's like maybe like an inch of rain would be good. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. If this was right, pick that up, so, yeah, let's see, oh, you okay? So I'm wondering, well, I'm wondering if we push it down, cut the corner and fold it out, if we a little bit fold out, if somebody tried to dig in, they couldn't get in. 
Chicken. You never know. By the door. Yeah. Why but, would the chickens try to dig out? What? Why would the chickens try to no, dig like out? No, like a predator. Oh. We so just I put don't wire know. on the bottom. We may just have to kind of play with this and see how it goes. Because I don't know if this is going to work out like I want it to. Wing it. Huh? Wing it. Wing it? Yeah. What are you talking about? I guess that's probably, yeah, it's probably just leaning some is what the deal is. But it's, This is really uh, easy. Daddy and me and Izzy can lift it all by ourselves. Yeah, it's super light. But... Like a yeah, come over here and help me for a minute, Abs. Okay. Come put your foot right th out here where mine is, right there beside it. That's good, yeah, just right there. Hold this up here, too. Yep, just like that. That's perfect. Y'all both are. And then let's see if we can take this, push that out. That would probably work that way. So we may have to just cut this in pieces because I think that's going to be too hard. It may take a little bit. I think we could probably pull that. So this is where we need to cut it. Okay. That's fine. Will you hand me those yellow handle cutters over there? We'll see if these will cut. Are those wire cutters? No. Not exactly. But that'll make sure I don't miss my spot. Okay, so this is the dilemma. Since this is not exactly flat ground where we've got it, it's not okay, working out that great. Like so ground. I'm going to cut it and do it in sections. Okay, you'll have to back up for this part. Okay, so that's going to be our front piece. I'm going to go ahead and cut this one too. And the reason I cut this is you lose the two extra inches off your fence, but instead of having a bunch of little metal pieces have to pick up, it's all in one long strip. Okay, so now, Abs, I think I want you to hold this like right there. No, like hold it like right there. Yeah, your hand's just around that and then down. Nope, around the pipe and just one thing and then right here too and let me work this you still holding it okay because I'm going to be pulling it a little bit so okay so now what we're going to try to do is bend this bottom edge up yep all the way to the end but make sure that you bend it all the way to that wire if you're going to help so that should help firm it up some too. Okay, let's go get it and pick it back up. Hi, Abby. You were looking for me? Let's line it back up up here. No, like I told you, it was a little too long. That way, if something tries to dig right against the edge of the pin, they can't get in. Yeah. I'm just going to use a couple of zip ties at first to see, and then we'll go from there. So basically what I'm going to do is pull through every other loop or square, hold that and start pulling that way slowly as I help work it through. Keep going. Okay, keep going. Far enough. Okay, that's good. Bring it back. We'll see how that goes. I don't what? Because I, I need it. Here, hand it here. Okay. Here it is. Pull this for a minute, please. Hold it. <clears throat> Pull it. To here? Pull it out, yeah. Oh, like this? Yeah, I'm trying to get... Hey, oh, don't get kinks in it, though. Here, stop. Just let go for a minute. Try not. Yeah, I know. It's hard, though, because this stuff is not easy to deal with. And we may do this and realize this was a mistake. 
Because like we said earlier, good ideas are not always good ideas. No, uh-uh. How you, how you burnt the box. You burnt the box. You did. I know. I'm not even allowed to touch fire. Yeah, we may have to scratch this idea. Yeah, I think on the next one, we're just going to go halfway down it and then go in from the other end for the other half. Because this is a mess. But sometimes you got to live and you got to learn. Okay, I think this is going to work out nicely, but what I'm going to do to keep this from being such a mess to do is I'm going to only do halfway on each run and then tie it off and then start from the other end for the other way and that's good and tight up there so i think this is going to work out we're just going to have to cut it down some so that i'm not having to weave as much in at a time but i think i'm going to go to the other end and work backwards I don't know. I'm pretty, I think that's going to work out good. It's just a little bit more work on the front end, but that won't have to be replaced down the road. Okay, not really sure what happened with the camera, but I've got this piece on across here. It's going to have a little bit of flimsiness right here on the end, but it's still going to be secure. I'm not sure how to get that pulled out of there because there's just not a lot of room to do that. Plus, I had to do the bottom first and there's no support at the top. So I'm just going to go with it for now. Um, still have the back side to do, which is going to be similar to this side because it doesn't have a top support rail. I may run a piece of wire. Let me just show you. I may run a piece of wire from this corner over to that corner just to give me a top line to tie off to. I don't know if I'll tie off to it or if I'll just use the other fence whenever I go across the top. And secure it down the center if that will work and then i've got the other side and a little bit of front and then it's going to be chicken wire time so still quite a bit to do on this but we've got to go handle some other stuff real quick and so we're going to, have to start back up on this a little bit later okay so i ran out of time yesterday but it actually worked out for the best because i've recruited some more help for today plus last night i was talking to our good friend brandon over at eddie family farm and was telling him what I was doing. I was using the electric fence wire to do that. And he reminded me that he used the poly wire on his, which has wire weaved into it, but it's UV protected. And he did it on his and it worked really well. And it was a lot easier to deal with than that wire mess I've been dealing with. So we're switching to that. I'm really glad that I ran out of time and talked to him about it because it's a really good tip. And this should make it go a lot faster, I hope. Yeah. But <clears throat> just like we were before, I've already got the top done. I've got this. Done. I'm going to wait on that because I need to see where it's going to line up. Okay. But we're just weaving these through like every other one. So like skip one but go through. You'll go in the top and you'll come back out the same one and then go to the next. Okay. All and, right. And you'll probably want to pull you some slack through because it is still wire. Okay. If you'll take that and then like just every work. few. Just keep pulling a little more slack. Yeah. Okay. So that means I'm going to go. No, I mean I would like pull out here you let me hold this and you just kind of work this through and I'll like every three I would probably pull all my slack through because otherwise you're gonna end up with a mess okay because I'd also talked about too we'll see how this goes around the whole run but I mm -hmm. talked about yesterday if it was too bad I would just run to the middle from each end yeah surely but, it won't be too bad with this no i think that this is just a matter like i said keeping it since it does have wire in it you're still going to have to get a lot of slack through because it's a lot easier to get it on the front end than on the back end yeah no okay joke. we can go with that i may go ahead and just count these squares and go ahead and cut the piece for the other side because it should be the same yeah Let me 
to get a tape measure and just measure this because I'm not sure. Because it's not sitting square. Hmm. So we'll measure the top and bottom and just see what we got. Because I forgot how wide it's supposed to be. On the outside, just hold it down there low. Hold on to it. i got to pull it out. And it is, you can do the top side. Okay, so 61 squares is what I'm going to do. If it overlaps, then we'll cut one off on the end. But we'll okay. see how it goes. And if it sticks out a little bit, I guess that's not the end of the world either. Yeah. Because I think what I'm also going to do is take some of that other wire mm -hmm. and tie around this corner right here and put a line across to give us the top thing to weave to. Okay. Yeah, since... So it'll have some support. Since this one's just going to be the yeah. big open end. But once we put the chicken wire up here, uh -huh. and we, we'll fasten it to it too, so that'll help. But so are you doing chicken wire on the top part of this too, or are you doing this wire on up to the point? I figured I would just do chicken wire on. Yeah, well, no, I mean, that's what I figured you would do. But I mean, we can do the other if you want. It's just, I mean, chicken wire is We'd have to do fine. a lot of cutting, but... I think chicken wire is fine, because... But I think if we do, I think if we go to here, I think one span of chicken wire will mm -hmm. catch that. And then we'll Should. fold the corners over like we did before. Mm -hmm. So we'll do the top before we do that part. Yeah. Well, and then I don't know if we'll weave the chicken wire. I'm just kind of winging it since we're not doing chicken wire all the way across. I'm glad we're not though, truly. Yeah, I just think this is gonna be more secure. More secure and it's actually easier to deal with on this part. Like on the top part, the chicken wire I think will be easier to deal with, but. I mean, this would probably go fine across. It's just heavier. That's what I mean. I feel like I'd be less useful if we were doing this one apart. Yeah. Across the top. Maybe buckets for this bottom run. You got to make it easier so you're not having to wall around fighting the ground as you go. Like, so essentially it will Basically, be every other one. Like, every other top one's going to be skipped and every other bottom one instead of every other. They'll be offset. Okay, so instead of coming up the same one, we're just You'll go up... up the next. So basically you're hitting every round, but it's... Yes. Okay. And I mean, it's going to hit every one, other cross. One bottom, one top. Or one bottom, then a top, yeah, then you, a bottom, then a top. Instead of going across the whole yeah. square, you're going through the cross. So yeah. it'll be every okay. other that works. joint the way it works okay. out. Yeah. And I think if you do it that way, it's just going to be easier to weave and everything. Yeah. And I know it'll be easier to pull out. Okay. I got it. Thank you. Okay. When we go to town today, we need to figure out something to make a latch for that or see if there's some place, because this one didn't come with a latch. Oh, uh, okay. But I'm sure we can look at gate latches or something at yeah, Lowe's so. and they may have something. Might be easier than that other one anyway. I want somebody to grab a tape measure though. Where is it at? Don't know where I laid it. around here somewhere because I haven't left with it. Right oh, it's here. hot. Oh, hi. And then hand me the one end and you take the other end and go put it on the outside of that bar. Look at the Lower. Okay. What in the world? Okay, I guess like that. What is it? Hmm? What is it? Well, trying to figure out, because I don't want to get this too tight, but. I think it's splayed out a little bit. Too. It is. But I want this to be. Because right. that wire should back, back on there. On which part? Down, down lower, right here at the top the of this pipe. Okay. Yeah. I guess this doesn't. Pull out on that edge over there. Push out on the sidewall. Cause that's 10 foot there. Maybe it's not actually supposed to be 10 foot, but at the bottom it's longer than 10 foot. Yeah. I don't know. We may just make it work. This won't have a lot of tension to it. Yeah. But it should still give it some support. Yeah. But I don't know. Guess we'll see. That's the only bad thing about these little cheap buildings. Yeah. But we, the peacock one's worked out pretty good. Yeah, and this one, I mean. This one I think is a little bit cheap.
cheaper made, but it looks similar. Yeah, and it's, I mean, it was super cheap for us, so. Yeah. But yeah, I think with that, and then it gives us something to fasten the wire to, and then we can make it work. I just don't know. Push that up against the bottom. Let's see how it looks down at the bottom. Because that's where it's going to have to. We're going to have to. I'm just going to get a couple of zip ties to get this where it'll hold. And then this one we may. I don't know. I guess we'll just do this for now and then see what happens. I'll get it close and then we'll just have to figure out what we're going to. How we're doing it. Which what I could do. Since all we have is that, mm -hmm. I could go get those cage J clips. Yeah, you know where Just they are. clip it to that, and that'll give it some support. And then we're going to tie it down there, and we'll just make it work. Okay, so on this piece, since we don't have like a hard rail to tie it off to, and this is kind of flimsy because we didn't want to pull the building in where it was, I don't know, out of kilter. We've got these J clips that we use for our, some other little small animal cages, and I'm just gonna put a few on here to hold it. And what they do is just puts a ring around it to hold it to that wire to give it some support. And we'll probably do the bottom first. That way we can pull this up where we need to, to get it straight. And hopefully whenever we get the wire across the top done, we can pull this tight and it'll look good that way. But I'm just gonna put probably five or six across here just to hold it so we can do that bottom wire since it actually has a hard frame to go on. Yeah. And then if we decide we need to change this up some, I can take these off pretty easily. I bet it'll be fine to leave them though. They should be where they can slide around. Yeah. Since it's just a solid wire. And we're weaving the bottom just like we wove everything else. Right? Yes, yeah. I just wanna do that so the top doesn't fall down when we pick it up to do that. Okay. But then we'll, since the bottom is solid and has a, since it's a piece of pipe that the width of that can't change, this will change how we rock it. So we'll set that up, get the bottom done first and then make this work. Okay, so we've made some pretty good progress right now. Um, we're almost to the point of getting ready to do the chicken wire. We're not quite there yet. We got one more little piece. So we got to figure out how we're going to do that front. But since this is only one of our days off that we have together, we've got some errands we've got to run in town. So we're going to have to call it quits on this for right now and pick up on this again a little later. Okay, so I already got this started. I had a little bit of time the other day whenever Kimberly was at work. But I've started the first run over the top. Like I said, we're gonna use chicken wire for that. And on this first edge, what we're gonna do is we're going to just weave it uh, with this electric fence wire again. And the way it's got it on the edge, it's got uh, like the full hexagon and then the half, and I'm just weaving it in through, everywhere there's a half one, I'm weaving it through the whole one behind it just to get it good and tight. Once we get it weaved all the way across, we'll pull this tight, tighten it down. And then for the rest, I'm using the J clips like I used on this, which I already did on this side over here. And I'm just going across here. These are supposed to be one inch squares, but you can tell they don't line up exactly. So it kind of bunched it up. So I don't know if we'll pull the other, stretch it out a little bit as we go, but this one may have a little bit of wave into it. But as long as it's secure around the edges, it doesn't really matter and it'll have a tarp over it too. So we're fixing to get started weaving the rest of this. And once we get that done, we'll go on across with our um, chicken wire. And then, then we just got to finish up the front and finish up this half piece on the top. So we're getting close. Still got a ways to go though. Now we were working on our off days, but then now we're to the point where we have, I have days off, but he doesn't. So. Yep, that's the way it is. We're constantly having to bounce between each other's schedules yep. to get it all done. So I know this will secure it better, but it definitely takes a minute. Yeah, the only thing is I'm just thinking about this is we'll have to do it once and never again. Yeah. Where eventually we'll have to redo those zip ties. Yeah, we'll just have to come back with this type of deal. That's if that wire on that pin lasts too. 
Okay. All right, so the front wall on this side is done. Yeah, the this one was kind of bowed out, but I just kind of bent this square back here and I don't know, may get a longer piece and pull that yeah. a little tighter and tight. I don't know yet though. It'll we'll see how work. it goes. It'll still work. I think since I want to pull this tight that way, mm -hmm. I'm going to cut this off and tight on this end and then pull it out that way instead of pulling it back since this side's already fastened. Okay. Basically just as easy as zip ties, but they'll last where the others won't. Yeah. Like I said, the only thing is that since these are not exactly an inch like they're Supposed to be, though, there's not exactly two inches. They bunch up a little bit. Yeah. We're just going to stay with it on this one. And we may do something, like I said, pull the other ones a little tighter or something, but. Yeah. So it'll match all the way across. I'm just going to go with it. Yeah. Because if I remember right, this is like 13 feet. And these are four feet, so. It's probably we can put another row of this. Fill this wire and go fill that three foot and see if you think it's the same thickness. Yes. Okay. So we'll go ahead and go with another four foot and we'll put four foot on that end then we'll cover that other piece with a three foot because it's going to be overlapping. Okay. So. That's plenty. Thinking maybe just go ahead and clip here like overlap it a couple of Mm -hmm. or a square yeah and then clip it we had to clip it above though on this first one <laughs> Okay, so we finally got this chicken pen finished and we're fixing to start putting chickens in there, but we wanted to show you what we got. Um, we didn't film it all because we were in a rush trying to get it done. So here's what we've done. We came through, we got all of this with chicken wire on top. Um, we use little J clamp hooks, whatever they're called, crimps, to do the chicken wire to the chicken wire and also around the edges here we've got them. And we used the electric fence wire to weave everything that was around a <laughs> pipe except for this there was a small little triangle up here and it's got the little metal crimps around most of it but on the pipe i just used zip ties because it's just a small spot plus the way we made this this gate overlaps it and we've got this where this wire catches this and so we're going to rig up either tie it or rig up some sort of latch to go for now we may use a bungee cord or something i also found an old tarp we had i thought we had a new one but i couldn't find it and so we'll have to pick up another one if this doesn't work out but um oh there's one of the other chickens back that's one of them we were moving some chickens earlier out to the big pen and that one got away from us but then on the corners for now i just used rope and these fiberglass electric fence post um to hold it down that way it won't blow away till we figure out because i want it where it's easy to move and i think with those i can just pop them up we can move it and drive it back down um like i said with the drought and everything there's not a lot of grass right now so they're just going to go in here for now and it's going to give them give them a spot to go and a little bigger place than where they're at right now to go we have some purebred rhode island reds and also some um americanas and so we're going to put them in here we're eventually going to divide them back up because we had them divided but whenever we get ready to start incubating we'll divide them up before we do that but the main thing is just getting them in a bigger spot while we're gone and to make it easier to care for. So we pretty much moved all of their 
feed buckets and waters inside here. They've got 10 gallons of water and then 10 gallons of feed. So we're fixing to start getting them moved in here. Hopefully they'll like their new home. Yeah. Be quite a bit bigger and then plus a lot taller. I will build a roost later. Um, like I said, it's just not gonna happen right before we go. Okay, that's probably good right there, Abs, because they're pretty gentle. So if you'll just open they that up. Even though some of the big roosters are, are Just don't let them out. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Even though the roosters are big, they're really nice. There they all go. Like I said, we initially was thinking this was as big as our peacock pen whenever we want to get it, but since it's smaller, it'll still work out. Do what? Yeah, you can close it. And I'll probably put a block in front of that door on the bottom, too, just to give it a little bit of extra security. But I think it's going to work out really well. Oh, they came more straight for the water. Yep. They need to get their foot off over. They're going to make it leak. They're fine. They'll, they'll move. We also had to replace some of the cups on our waters because I guess over time the spring gets worn out and they were still leaking even though they were completely full. So... We've got that. There's one other that looks like it may be leaking. I think so. So I've got one more cup that you can watch. See, it's uh, right there. It's dripping. And it shouldn't be doing that. So I'm going to go ahead and replace that cup too here in a minute. I'll get it. Okay. Izzy's going to get it for me. And we'll just go ahead and replace it right here on the spot. Yep. How do you replace it without the water leaking out? Uh, we'll lose a little bit of water, but not bad. got to be fast. You just have... I've got another package over. One more cup in that package. Yes. Okay. It's coming in is or not? Yeah. Okay, close the door behind you. Watch out, Abs. Okay. What we'll do is I'll just reach down in here. I'll unscrew this cup. And whenever I get unscrewed, I'll just push it through, hold my finger over the hole till I get the other one on. Get the little plastic wing nut tightened up so that the gasket seals off. That one's so funny. And we're back in business. That one looks so funny right there. How yep. Do you it? Oh, yeah. Oh. Yep, it'll grow back. See, this is how friendly they are. Yep, super friendly. The roosters will even let you hold them. Okay, let's go get the other ones now and bring them over. Okay, so here's our crate of Americanas. The girls are a little scared of that rooster. They said that they he got after them, but he's always friendly every time I've dealt with him. Chickens have been together before, so it's been a little bit, so there may be a little bit of Ooh, like getting used to the pecking order. Okay. Yeah, like I said, it'll just take a minute for them to figure out who's boss. Who is boss? Huh? We have to find out, because like I said, it wasn't that long ago that these were all together, so I don't think it's going to take long for them to get used to each other again. We've just had them separated for a few weeks. We'll just let them do their thing, and let's see if we can catch these others that came back up that got away earlier. Okay, so as you can see, they're all getting along now. We finally got this chicken pen done. They've got a lot more room. Like I said, eventually we'll cut them down even more where there's less than this size pen, but while we're gonna be gone, this is what it's gonna be and it's gonna work. I may get one more water and feeder to go in there with them, but it's just gonna depend on how time goes and if I can round one up. Cause I still have to fix the water for the breast because it got knocked over and broke too. That's the only bad thing about these little cups is they break if they get knocked over. So we're gonna wrap this one up. We appreciate you watching. We'll catch you next time on Grounds Family Farm. Bye. Bye. Peace. Peace.